Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Caring in London. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic. Um, if you look at this shop behind me, Carol, um, well, for the people who don't live in England, you think Carol, oh, what a beautiful name. <laughs> it is a beautiful name, but this Carol shop is a betting shop. Um, and I live in Greenwich. This is Trafalgar Road, and it's only not a very big road. Um, it's busy road. And what surprised me is there's three betting shops. There is Carol behind me, and if you know, notice here that little shop here with really really bright green color. That's a betting shop, and over there. There is one more. So on our little street, there are three betting shops. And I'm, well, as expats living in London, I'm just so shocked. Why there are so many betting shops on our street? And obviously, if you want to open a shop, you need to send your application to the local council. And the local council got to approve it. And then you can open your shop. Why British government allowed so many betting shops on our street? On our street, I'm not joking. If you say, okay, I fancy a um, nice sausage roll, you can't get a sausage roll shop. And guess what? You can find a betting shop and three of them on the street. I'm just, uh, I'm from a country, obviously, these betting shops are not allowed. Um, that's why I think for many countries the betting shops are not allowed and for the people come to UK and you see so many betting shops no matter you live in a big city small city or even in your little town center you can find us you can't find a little sausage shop I guarantee you can find a betting shop and not only one maybe two or maybe three or maybe even more and I'm like what's wrong I mean why? Why British government allow this? And I'll show you one. That little shop, right? The Jenning Bat, that little shop. It's very, very like brown green color. Every single time, me and my kids, we walk past and children ask me, can we go inside? Or what's that shop? So kids, they're curious and they like to know and they got this advertising all over the shop and it's just a really bad influence for children and teenagers i would say we often heard stories um you know millionaires like lost everything when they start gambling you never ever heard stories oh someone got someone become someone becomes a millionaire because they've been gambling it's, you heard lots of, lots of really bad stories, how people lost everything and, you know, it's, it's just, I think, I certainly wouldn't think gambling is a good thing because that makes people really addict to it. And the other thing I noticed in this country, you see TV advertising or, and another thing I noticed in this country, especially online adverts, Oh gosh, you see this gambling, um, like games or apps everywhere um, online. And I'm like, why this online gambling advertising online and all of these gambling shops on your street are just allowed in this country? Maybe there's only one reason I can think of that they probably pay loads and loads of tax to British government. Otherwise, I can't think of any other reasons they should be allowed on the street because no one can say gambling is a good thing, right? Yeah, that's just one thing I'm really curious because I've been living on this street for five years and there's three gambling shops on our street. What do you think? Can you find gambling shops on your street? Let me know. Um, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye!